And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO VLOC Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOC network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. And so I started the QSO VLUC network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today, we're currently featuring over 2,600 QSO VLUC air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word highlights. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9 VKV Logbook and KC9 VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO v Light Network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on the selector is our local receiver audio. And today, our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six-position rotary selector. Also today, on the transmit side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hotspot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today, we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. 
As we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Network, let us pause just a moment for the Amateur Radio Operator's Prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations, QSA 5, to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you will protect everyone, especially our elderly. And uh, Lord, we seek your divine intervention also to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this part of the band has many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. And again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? The Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I've got a copy. There's a lot of Queen Roger Nancy static, but your uh, Q5 running an S5 uh, up to an S9. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I want to uh, explain what has happened and how I was sort of rescued for the hospital. If you are copying, okay, uh, go ahead, Jim, K1G, ZL, Foxville, Northern New Hampshire. Roger, Roger, Charlie, we do have some uh, lightning uh, static, but uh, you're mostly all over that, so uh, go ahead, sir. You're mostly all over that, so uh, go ahead, sir. Okay, well, let me tell you what happened. Uh, it was about uh, uh, a week ago last uh, Wednesday uh, morning, Wednesday morning, that I woke up on the uh, floor. I woke up on the floor and was not able to raise myself. My uh, Evidently, my sugar count was on the low side, and uh, Kate, uh, I was uh, had a schedule with Kate X4WC Aeronautical Mobile flying uh, the Boeing 767 uh, jet from Sacramento, California to Philadelphia. And uh, he did not hear me on that schedule at all. And uh, I woke up and uh, uh, I thought it was earlier, but it was later. And I was not able to reach the phone when the phone was ringing. I could not reach the telephone. It was a, a too far above me and I was on the floor for obviously several uh, hours. Uh, but then Captain Mike uh, called my friend who is an emergency coordinator for Ozzy, our co-op county, uh, and uh, he, uh, he came over and found me on the floor at 2.30 in the afternoon, and uh, that was completely uh, after the schedule I did have. So what happened, uh, he called up uh, the uh, ambulance, uh, the ambulance people at the uh, Upper Connecticut Valley Hospital here in Colebrook, New Hampshire, about 10 or 11 miles south of here, and they came up and transported me to the uh, hospital. Since then, I've been fully regaining my strength, and uh, it was a very rough uh, occasion. However, I do have on tape here a recording of what I had uh, planned to, to play uh, that same, uh, well, this next uh, Friday that I had a schedule uh, with you. And, uh, and also introducing to your listeners uh, K1 
KA4 TIE, King Alpha 4 Tango Ida Echo, that is Captain uh, Mike's daughter. When she was 13, she got her extra license, and uh, uh, I have a recording of her at the very end, uh, giving her a call uh, sign. Uh, her home, as her dad says, is in extreme southwest uh, Virginia, right on the Tennessee border. And I will play that recording for you. If uh, you're copying, okay, Jim, go ahead. Yes, Charlie, uh, you're uh, very good. Very good signal, sir. Go ahead. Okay, this is K1GZL, and here it is. This is me act up a little, but I'm hoping it won't. Maybe tomorrow uh, we can pick the right time to uh, maybe 7 o'clock or so. Uh, might be a better time to pick up uh, KA4 TIE. But uh, anyway, we're about 80 miles now from uh, South Chicago, so it won't be too much longer. We're, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what the peak is, uh, Charlie. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Have we uh, determined that uh, in the past? Uh, K1G's and LK4 with you, Charlie. Charlie, uh, you're, uh, I've got the volume almost turned up. Uh, Quarters of the way down, so uh, you're definitely uh, a simplifier. I understand. Yeah, you'd like to have that 1500 watts, uh, but uh, I don't think you need it on this route that, uh, that I'm on, uh, for sure. I forget which way that uh, is pointed. I think, did you say it points towards uh, LAX and down a little bit further south, or is it a little bit north? Uh, it's pointing to LAX, but uh, I'm not sure which way it's pointing. Uh, it's pointing towards LAX, but uh, it's pointing Did you know that uh, Jim has a, uh, a cubicle quad? He can turn it around and move it around. And uh, I forget what, uh, how old he told me. He was like 20, 25 years old. And uh, I didn't realize it was a uh, cubicle quad. Let me see if uh, Jim is uh, maybe uh, uh, listening in. Uh, KF7E, uh, any copy on KX4 Whiskey Charlie? He's in Phoenix. 25 there, Charlie. You're about a 5252. We're showing you. Uh, 785 miles from our present position, so uh, not too bad for a uh, four-tenth of a watt. k one keys at LK4 with you, Charlie. Sharon, you at about a 5.5, five, so we're about 40 miles now uh, west of uh, Chicago. So, uh, yeah, we're probably at the maximum at the moment, but uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, as we get uh, past the lake if it's going to change any. Juliet and uh, yeah, you were about the same uh, on that south antenna as you were at one watt on the quad there. Uh, uh, you were about a, a, a five two, five three somewhere in there, but uh, a decent copy there on that south antenna. Uh, too bad I'm not going to be heading south anytime soon, but uh, maybe someday I'll head out there and uh, we'll do another uh, 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 contact down there down in uh, south. I forget where we last time. I think we were down in Panama, or maybe was it uh, Santo Domingo or somewhere down there. But uh, Anyway, uh, here we are coming up over Joliet, Charlie. Uh, K1G's and Allen KX4, which is Charlie. Chicago, uh, I guess that's uh, Glenwood, Illinois. It's uh, probably a suburb of Chicago. Coming up over Linwood and uh, Chicago Heights. But uh, yeah, yeah, you're uh, still as strong as ever, Charlie. And all I can say, Charlie, is follow the doctor's orders and stay off the ladder. And uh, I think you'll be just fine. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, Dave might be able to help you out with that. Uh, as a matter of fact, when the link was over at my place, so we had to change the on one of the NFED uh, antennas as well, because it had been up, up there for years, and it was sprayed out and uh, coming apart. Uh, surprisingly, it was still hanging up there. But uh, anyway, uh, just coming up... Uh, uh, south of uh, O'Hare and uh, headed headed in your direction, Charlie. K1G's at LKX4 Whiskey, Charlie. Okay, Jim. Uh, look, uh, I'll catch you. I'll hopefully catch you next uh, 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 next uh, Friday. Uh, you know, I'll be there on Friday. And it looks like and by the 20th of July at the latest. I should have the AL88 amplifier back on, uh, and I'm going to keep it at about 1,200, 1200 uh, watts, KC9, VKV, K1G, uh, ZL. 
Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, gosh, uh, you know it would be uh, nice to get that uh, amplifier back. I'm sure you're waiting for that. And exercise some, some caution there, Charlie. It, you know, uh, got to do that for sure. Good to hear you in there. 73, sir. Thanks for uh, helping us uh, get the show started. Uh, we, we appreciate it, and we'll see you next Friday. And just a reminder, this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC Network. My name is Jim, KC9VKV, and I'm better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we're recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. So there you go. Uh, and without uh, further ado, let's open up the show uh, for Friday afternoon. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Station with uh, Alpha, come back slowly phonetically with your call sign. Station with Alpha, come back slowly phonetically with your call sign. Alpha, 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 Kilo, Mike. Alpha, Kilo, Mike, is that a Roger? Alpha, Kilo, Mike, is that a Roger? Hey, Roger. I just uh, am calling in to make sure uh, my radio is on. All right, I was trying to find a, a better copy for us. What's your, uh, what's your location, sir? Roger, and the name? Roger, and the name? One more time, I'm battling a, f a lightning storm here. One more time, I'm battling a, f a lightning storm here. Papa, echo, tango, echo. Hey, Roger, Pete, and what radio are you running today, sir? One more time, lightning got you. Tell you what, why don't you tell me about your antenna system for about 10 seconds, and let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. 10 seconds, and let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Frequency is in use. Uh, Pete, uh, gosh, I copied a little bit of that. It's uh, pretty um, uh, curium this afternoon. Uh, do you have a pretty good copy on me? Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're going to be able to make it right at this time. If uh, if I could help you as far as the setup, uh, we could do it. Uh, if you can copy me pretty well, Roger, Roger. This is KC9 VKV Pete. Uh, you got a copy? Yeah, I'm getting about uh, 30 overs on the lightning hits, uh, particularly out of uh, a PASDR, and that's the only place I've got a copy on you. So uh, I'm not sure, but if you can copy me, I can help you through uh, uh, 
uh, you know, set up if that's what you're needing, Roger. Roger, going to uh, come back uh, and we'll try it next week. Is that a Roger? Roger, going to uh, come back uh, and we'll try it next week. Is that a Roger? Roger. Roger, now, if I'm not mistaken, boy, it seems like the uh, lightning has backed off just a little bit from what it was. I'm not real sure, but uh, I'm copying myself back down the line uh, from uh, uh, my PASDR. And uh, it's getting better, and I'm coughing. You better hang on. Let me listen to this just for a minute. And, uh, it's getting better, and I'm coughing. You better hang on. Let me listen to this just for a minute. Yeah, I think I can copy you now there, Pete. Uh, uh, tell me uh, about your radio and what's the best thing you like about it uh, for about 10 seconds. And let me see what kind of copy I got on you. Okay, Pete, I'm copying you with, uh, the, you're running an STFT uh, DX10, and uh, so if you're looking for setup, uh, first thing is to make sure that you're in that uh, wide transmit bandwidth, 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Roger, roger. 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth. Roger. Roger. Okay, the next uh, thing is to uh, move to your processor. Uh, processor on at uh, 30. Processor on at 30, Roger. On at uh, 30. Processor on at 30, Roger. Roger. Okay, move to your ALC meter next with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, stretch out the front, don't stress it, just say it. Adjust your uh, mic level control until your uh, ALC meter is reading seven. Uh, seven on the ALC meter by way of uh, manipulating your mic gain control, Roger. Okay, now that's uh, seven on the AOC meter by way of mic gain control. Roger, roger. Seven on the AOC meter by way of mic gain control. Roger, roger. Roger. All right, uh, I want you to uh, tell me about your radio there for just a minute so I can listen to you. Hi right, Pete, uh, you sound you sound hot. Uh, double check your ALC level again. That's a seven. That's a seven. As you uh, just to say the word audio, don't stress it. Just say it like you would. But uh, uh, be sure that uh, you're within the uh, ALC realm. You know, you see how that ALC meter is. You just want to be a seven, Roger. I think it goes to ten. You want to be, uh, you know, halfway between halfway and full, <laughs> and that's a seven, Roger. I tell you, good buddy, I've got uh, 
I've got some really bad static, but I, I'm I'm trying to uh, work with you there. I hope hopefully you've got a copy on me. Uh, what I heard before was uh, you sounded pretty over. Uh, so just double check your AOC level. You want to be on a seven, Roger. That sounds pretty good. Now tell me about your uh, your antenna uh, again, please. Right now it's sitting at seven. Audio. Yeah, that sounds much better. All right, now let's go to your um, your your uh, uh, tone control. And yeah, let me find it here. Oh, your uh, can you see your uh, AMC, your alpha major? Condition AMC. Do you see that uh, reading? Do you, it should be on 65. AMC. Do you see that uh, reading? It should be on 65. All right. So let's move on here. Um, you'll be uh, since you're in the. Um, your processor's on, you'll be using the P set of EQ controls. You'll be using the P set of EQ controls and make sure that your mic EQ is set to on. Make sure your mic EQ is set to on, Roger. Kind of transmitting in the blind here, Pete. Uh, but uh, I'm just uh, trying again. I can't can't really copy you all that well all the time. So just make sure your mic EQ is set to on. Roger, Roger. Okay, so if your mic EQ is uh, set to on, let's uh, move to your mic, uh, your EQ uh, controls. You'll be in the P series. Uh, set EQ number one, the bass control, to 200 cycles with the four level minus six. So EQ one, the bass control, set to 200 cycles with the four. Level minus six, Roger. Uh, Copy you. You were coming up that time, but uh, if you've got me uh, better now, we're working on EQ number one, the bass control set uh, at 200 cycles with the four level minus six. Roger. I'm sorry, I can't uh, copy. Can I copy? Yes, sir, Pete. I copied you very well that last uh, transmission, but uh, uh, do you copy me now better? Yes, sir, Pete. All right. You want to try it uh, next week? You want to try it next week? Uh, maybe Mother Nature will be more cooperative and she, <laughs> she will back off on the thunderstorm, Roger? Yes, yeah, sir, Pete, that's what I suggest next week. I'll, I'll look for you. 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. Uh, we record now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Is that uh, Northern America for something? Is that uh, Northern America for something? Yeah, I'm telling you.
4 Delta. North America, 4 Delta, is that a Roger? North America, 4 Delta, is that a Roger? A Roger, Roger. I just fooling around with a field day. Uh, potential antenna and wonder uh, how it's working over. Well, uh, gosh, I'm not sure where you are. Where, where are you, sir? Well, uh, gosh, I'm not sure where you are. Where, where are you, sir? I'm in Kentucky. I'm in South Central Kentucky, about 80 miles south of Louisville. Over. I see, sir. And what's the name there? I see, sir. And what's the name there? My name is Lloyd. Lima, Lima, Oscar, Yankee, Delta, you're a 5-9 plus, over. Uh, Roger Lloyd. Well, gosh, uh, I'm copying you down in Georgia. Uh, I, am, I haven't uh, checked my local antenna. I should do that. If, why don't you tell me about the antenna you're working on, and uh, I'll look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. And uh, I'll look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. If it wasn't for this lightning storm, <laughs> I'd have a really good copy on you uh, uh, down in Georgia. But uh, I tell you, uh, this lightning storm is giving me 30 and 40 overs, so it's it's difficult to say. But I am copying you for the most part until I get a big uh, thunder boomer, and uh, then, uh, you know, it does obliterate you. So uh, uh, what kind of uh, SWR are you running without the tuner? Uh, what kind of... Uh SWR, are you running without the tuner? Oh, it's pretty high without the tuner. Uh, it is not resonant at all. I just wanted something uh, that I could use the tuner and load up on about any band. It will load up okay, but being about a 12-foot uh, piece of aluminum, it's not really resonant on uh, any of the bands. So, uh, Well, Lloyd, I don't know. If you've got a copy on me, you know, it, it might be better if you got out of the car, uh, drove a ground stake in the ground, put your negative side of the uh, transmission line to ground, and uh, fire the car up. <laughs> Use the car as the antenna, Roger. Car up. <laughs> Use the car as the antenna, Roger. Yeah, uh, before I built this one, I, I, I mounted the aluminum pole right to the frame of the trailer. I'm in the house. Uh, I've just got the trailer pulled around in the yard, uh, not connected to anything. I mounted the aluminum pole, pole right to the frame of the trailer. The trailer's sitting on rubber tires. and I set the tongue on a uh, plastic uh, garbage can, and I drove a ground stake next to the trailer. So I, I tried that first, and I did work a fella down in Arkansas on it. So it's just kind of hard to tell how it's actually uh, how it's actually functioning. Uh, by the way, I don't have your name, over. Roger, your name here is Jim Juliet India Mike. The call is Kilo Charlie Nine Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO VLUC Network. We we normally assist folks in uh, their transmitter setups. Uh, been a pretty uh, rocky day today with a lot of uh, heavy uh, lightning QRM, but we're trying to to stay on the air and work who we can. So uh, let me get a mental picture now. Uh, you've got the transmission line running out back, and you've got the high side hooked to the trailer. You know, it probably would be also best if you uh, uh, put a ground stake uh, for a little bit in there, maybe a, a short one, uh, and hook your the ground side of your uh, antenna to that ground stake, Roger. The ground side of your uh, antenna to that ground stake, Roger. Yeah, that's what I did on the first antenna, but I haven't put a ground... Uh, uh, I mean, since I'm using the, the trailer itself for the ground, but uh, that's one of the things I, I'm thinking of doing is grinding the 
ground rod back in the ground and grounding the frame of the trailer to that and see what that does. Also have a, a long random piece of wire that I can attach to the top of the aluminum and extend it out uh, like an inverted L horizontally to make the antenna physically larger. And I'm going to try that next. So, Jim, I thank you very much. I want to hold you up to maybe others that want to check out the radio. I'm using an iPhone 7 6 uh, here with 100 watts right now. KC9 DKV, November Alpha 4 Delta. Roger, Roger Lloyd, November Alpha 4 Delta. Uh, I wish you luck on your antenna, and uh, I think that the better thing, though, I mean, I mean, you may have done that again, and I couldn't tell for sure what we were saying, but if uh, you were to take the transmission line out, ground the transmission to a ground stake, and then fire the the, uh, the um, trailer up, I think that would probably be the best thing there, um, because that would be more protocol. The ground always is a, a good counter, uh, you know, uh, and uh, see what that does. But the whole thing really uh, is uh, the proof's in the pitting, uh, the proof is in the pudding, so to speak, and that's uh, you want to get the lowest SWR you can because the higher the SWR, the more you have to, to, to uh, load out in the, uh, you know, in your antenna tuner. So, and so the closer to uh, uh, no SWR, you get the better off you're going to be. So uh, let me say uh, 373 uh, there, Lloyd. I wish you luck. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, check back with me, uh, you know, later on, maybe today, maybe uh, next Friday, and let me know uh, how you're doing, Roger. Maybe today, maybe uh, next Friday, and let me know uh, how you're doing, Roger. Okay, very good, Jim. Yeah, thank you a lot. And, uh, just something to play with. Roger, Roger, Lloyd, 73, sir. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Delta 8, Whiskey Juliet Bravo. Whiskey Juliet uh, Bravo, come back uh, slowly, phonetically with the call sign. Come back uh, slowly, phonetically, with the call sign. Kilo Delta 8 Whiskey Juliet Bravo QSL. Roger Whiskey Juliet Bravo. What's the name there? Roger Whiskey Juliet Bravo. What's the name there? The name is Emmett. The call sign is Kilo Delta 8 Whiskey Juliet Bravo QSL. Roger. Uh, and what is the name again? I'm sorry. Roger. Uh, and what is the name again? I'm sorry. The name here is Emma. Echo. Mike. Mike. Italy. Tango. Tango. Located in Delacoffee, Ohio. Roger, Roger, Emmett. Well, gosh, uh, I'm copying you fairly well, considering that uh, we're in the middle of a a uh, lightning storm vertex here. Roger, Roger. Uh, Love it. Uh, you're in Ohio, is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. Uh, you're in Ohio, is that a Roger? That is a Roger, Southern Ohio. Well, right now I'm finding a loophole in the uh, static. I can copy you fairly well. I'm down in Georgia. Uh, that uh, static seems to be coming from up north, so I'm monitoring an SDR down in Georgia. Roger, Roger. Coming from up north, so I'm monitoring an SDR down in Georgia. Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger on uh, Georgia. Uh, what's the call sign? I didn't catch that. Yes, sir. This is a Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, KC9 VKV. And my name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon Kiso VLOG Network. Roger. Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon Kiso VLOG Network. Roger. Uh, Roger on that, Jim. You're coming in a 5-7 up here in Ohio. I just, uh, I have a new radio here, and you said something about it. Uh, you needed a QSO on a new radio, radio, so here I am. I got an FD-710. Yes, All righty, uh, let's see. Uh, first thing would be to be sure that you're in that uh, wide uh, transmit uh, band pass, 100 to 2900, Roger. Transmit 
uh, band pass 100 to 2900, Roger. Uh, Roger on that, I guess. Uh, I'm in the, uh, I'm just got her set up, uh, factory set up, basically. Uh, normally, that would be the condition coming out of the factory, would be, uh, I think, uh, the wide transmit bin uh, pass 100 to 2900, Roger. The wide transmit bin uh, pass 100 to 2900, Roger. Uh, Roger on that. Um, yeah, I just got it. I'm still learning it. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of radio to take in right now, and uh, uh, I just wondered how it was sounding down that way. Well, we can always use, uh, you know, uh, a little bit better uh, things and check them out to be sure we're functioning at uh, best uh, uh, possible situation. Uh, uh, our setup uh, continues on with the uh, processor on at 30. It's a token amount uh, you'll never hear it on the air, but it helps us with our uh, uh, 3 dB dynamic range at the end of the setup. So it's processor on at uh, 30, Roger. At the end of the setup, so it's processor on at uh, 30, Roger. Uh, Roger on the processor on at 30. I'll check that out. Okay, are you going to do that or, or take notes? Okay, are you going to do that or, or take notes? I think I'll take notes. That'd be easier. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, first note is uh, to be sure you're in that uh, wide transmit band uh, mode uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Wide transmit band uh, mode uh, 100 to 2900, Roger. Uh, Roger on that. Okay. Next note is processor on at 30. Processor on at 30. Roger, Roger. On at 30. Processor on at 30. Roger, Roger. Roger on the 30. Then move to your ALC meter uh, with mic gain in hand. Uh, and as you say the magic word audio, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is reading 7. Two thirds of the meter or 7, whichever, whichever comes first on your ALC meter. Adjusting your audio mic uh, as you say the word audio to uh, 7 or 2 thirds, Roger, on your ALC meter. To, uh Seven or two thirds, Roger on your ALC meter. Uh, Roger on that. All right, and then uh, why don't you tell me uh, about ten seconds uh, about your antenna system? Let me listen to you and uh, see what we need to do on EQ, Roger. Your antenna system. Let me listen to you and uh, see what we need to do on EQ, Roger. Roger on the antenna. Uh, I have a G5RV about 45, 50 foot in the air. Uh, it's what I, between two trees. All right, sir. Uh, moving on, then uh, we're headed towards your your tone control page, your equalization page. We want to make sure that your EQ is set to on. You have a mic EQ switch. We want to be sure that that's set to on, Roger. Mic EQ switch. We want to be sure that that's set to on, Roger. EQ switch on. Yes, sir. Mike EQ switch set to on. Yes, sir. Mike EQ switch set to on. Roger on that. All right. And these are some uh, settings that uh, have been good in the past. And uh, so I'm assuming that uh, we'll be able to work them uh, fairly well with you. Uh, we want to do the... Uh, uh, we'll be in the... Um, the P band uh, of EQ controls because we have the processor on. So we will be in the P set of EQ controls, Roger. So we will be in the P set of EQ controls, Roger. P set of AQ control. Roger, as in Papa. P as in Papa, Roger. Roger, as in Papa. P as in Papa, Roger. Roger on the P as in Papa. All right, uh, and now we're uh, looking at uh, EQ number one, which is the bass control. We want that set to 200 cycles, width of four, level minus six. 200 cycles, width of four, level minus six. Roger. The four, level minus six. Roger. Uh, Roger on that. Okay, you want to read that back for me? 
Okay, you want to read that back for me? Uh, 200 cycles, four level, minus six. Uh, yeah, width, width of four. Width of four level is minus six. Roger? Width of four. Width of four level is minus six. Roger? Four level is minus six. Correct. Roger, roger. Okay, EQ2 is the mid control, and we want to set that to off or flat. Mid control number two, EQ number two, is off or flat. Roger? Oh, number two, EQ number two, is off or flat. Roger? Roger on the off or flat EQ2. Okay, so now we're moving to uh, equalizer number three, which is the treble control. We want to set that at 2.7 kilohertz, 2.7 kilohertz, width of 4, level plus 7. So that's uh, 2.7 kilohertz, width of 4, level plus 7. Roger? The 4, level plus 7. Roger? Uh, right, that's the equalizer 3, uh, 2.7 kilohertz, 4 level plus 7. Yeah, so when you say four level, just say width of four, because you are you have a level control that we want to be plus seven, so don't confuse those. So that is 2.7 kilohertz, width of four, level plus seven, Roger? Width of four, level plus seven, Roger? Uh, Roger on the uh, level plus seven. Uh, can you see your controls from where you are? Uh, can you see your controls from where you are? Uh, yes, all I gotta do is hit the function button. Alright, uh, go ahead and uh, if you could, let's go to the EQ. Maybe we can uh, work in there for just a minute. Let's go to the EQ. Maybe we can uh, work in there for just a minute. Okay, what, uh, what was that again? Uh, where did you want to go? To your EQ, EQ controls? Your EQ, EQ controls. Your equalization. Control. I have it off currently. Your equalization. Yes. Uh, uh, turn it on. Turn your equalizer on, Roger. That's the that's that uh, mic EQ uh, uh, switch, Roger. On, Roger. That's the that's that uh, mic EQ uh, uh, switch, Roger. Yeah, it is now on. The mic uh, EQ switch is now on. All right, so let's go back through that again, and uh, we're looking at uh, EQ number one, that uh, base control needs to be at 200 cycles, width of four, level minus six, Roger. A four, level minus six, Roger. Okay, EQ number one is uh, minus four, I missed the last part. Okay, uh, let's go this way. Let's do it sequentially. Uh, EQ number one is the base control, and we want uh, it set at 200 cycles. Uh, the first part of that is 200 cycles, and you can adjust that. Roger? Uh, the first part of that is 200 cycles, and you can adjust that. Roger? Roger on that. All right, so it's uh, 200 cycles, and then do you have a variable width control, and we want that variable width to be at 4. I think it's 1 through 10 or something like that, so we want that width control to be at 4, Roger? Something like that, so we want that width control to be at 4, Roger? Variable width control at 4. All righty, and then the level control at minus 6 minus six on your uh, level control, Roger. Minus six on your uh, level control, Roger. Uh, level control is a minus six. Okay, and be sure you're in the uh, P control series of uh, controls, Roger, the P series of control. Yeah, P control series of uh, controls, Roger, the P series of control. Uh, just a minute, I'm going to look for that. Should be proc something. Should be proc something. A 
In other words, you should have uh, a couple of banks of EQ controls. One of them is for the when you have the processor on. Roger? One of them is for the when you have the processor on. Roger? Uh, Roger on that. I'm still looking here. Yes, sir. What are you seeing? Why don't you describe what you're seeing? Yes, sir. What are you seeing? Why don't you describe what you're seeing? Well, uh, right now I have it says level minus 5 dB. Uh, peak is LV1. Uh, mic gain is at 50. You said you wanted that at 30. Is that correct? Uh, your, your compressor should be at 30. Your processor should be at 30, Roger. Your processor should be at 30. Processor should be at 30, Roger. Your processor should be 30. Roger on the processor at 30. And then uh, into our EQ equalization control page. And since we have the um, processor on, we should be in the P bank of EQ controls, Roger. We should be in the P bank of EQ controls, Roger. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost here. I'm still trying to find where I'm supposed to be. So, uh, probably what I need to do is go back through the book some more and uh, get more familiar with the radio before I try to make too many uh, adjustments here. Uh, I think that might be my best approach. Yes, sir. I can. Uh, if you have those notes that I gave you about the EQ, a base control to 200 cycles, width of 4, level minus 6. Uh, you've got a note on that? Width of 4, level minus 6. Uh, you've got a note on that? And I'll just give you notes. And I'll just give you notes. Yeah, Emmett, are you still there, sir? Yeah, Emmett, are you still there, sir? Boy, it's one of those days uh, with that lightning. Uh, really difficult to uh, get from here to there. Emmett, you still copy uh, KC9VKV? This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET, and uh, I don't know where Emmett went to, but uh, maybe he'll join us next Friday after he's had a chance to uh, to look over the book. Some of these radios are just, oh, just uh, very, very difficult menus. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm, I sympathize, uh, Emmett, uh, and uh, let you uh, do some reading there and uh, uh, join us next Friday. This is the Friday afternoon Kiss of You Like Nut. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kiss of You Like Nut. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. Papa, Charlie, Papa, how you doing, bud? Jim, not doing too bad. Uh, pretty tough conditions today by the sounds of it, but uh, I thought I would uh, jump in there and give you a shout. Uh, V3 PCP. Roger, are you getting much lightning up your way? Uh, not right now, no, but I, I can hear the uh, static on the air. Roger, Rob. Uh, it's just uh, terrible down here. I'm getting 30s and 40 overs, Roger. 40 overs, Roger. Yeah, QSO 
Milford, though. Well, it looks like I'm getting into Milford okay. I'm uh, watching it on my, uh, on my cell phone here. So it looks like I'm getting into about uh, plus 10 at uh, Milford, so you can probably copy me through there, too. So. Yeah, I just moved to Milford. Uh, you're blowing my head off, Roger. Yeah, I just moved to Milford. Uh, you're blowing my head off, Roger. Okay, very good. Anyway, well, since we uh, last talked, I do have a new, to me, uh, radio in the shock. It's a Kenwood uh, TS-870. I think I had it, uh, I tried to talk to you without an amplifier uh, a week or two ago, but uh, we had no luck. But uh, anyway, I've got the amplifier on the air today, so uh, hoping that uh, it sounds okay uh, from, from your end there. Uh, KC9 VKV, VE3 PCP. Roger, like I say, you you look to be about 20 over on the Milford PASDR. Come back and uh, tell me about that radio, and I'll move to my local antenna, see what kind of coffee I got on my local antenna, Roger. And I'll move to my local antenna, see what kind of coffee I got on my local antenna, Roger. Roger, Roger. Roger, Rob. Uh, I went around the horn there, and uh, you're uh, you're down to Georgia. Uh, a lot of noise because of the uh, uh, the uh, lightning storm. And uh, between New York and PA, you're the same audio level, except that you're cleaner uh, on PA because there's less lightning there than there is up around New York, I guess. Uh, on the tonality of the audio, it's kind of very similar to telephone, upper mids mostly, uh, very little bass, but uh, you do have uh, uh, cut. Roger, Roger. Bass, but uh, you do have uh, uh, cut. Roger, Roger. Yeah, QSL. Okay, very good. Well, I turned the, uh, the treble uh, or the high frequencies down to... Uh, Roger, Rob, I think you might have turned something off there. You you uh, fell away. Um, lost my copy on you. Oh, <laughs> my fault, my fault. Hang on just a minute here. My... Uh, my uh, SDR changed frequency. Can you imagine? I don't know why that does that. It just arbitrarily, on its own, changed frequency. Can you imagine that? Changed frequency. Can you imagine that? Yeah, Rob, I got you now. My SDR just changed frequency by itself. I don't know why it did, but it did. And I, I lost you, but I got you back, buddy. I lost you, but I got you back, buddy. Okay, very good. Well, I can, uh, I'll turn the, uh, I, I've only got two adjustments. I've got uh, low and high. The mid-range is set, so right now I've got the high at uh, plus three, so I'll turn it down to uh, zero. So now the high is down to zero. It's at zero, one, two, three, four, five. Audio, audio. What do you think? Uh, KCI VKB V3 PCP. Yeah, so that sounds good. Now, I would actually come up on some of the bottom. I think you've got room to come up a couple of clicks on your bottom end, Roger. On your bottom end, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. The bottom end is already uh, maxed out at uh, plus six. Uh, Roger, might might need to change your blocking capacitors or, or whatever that is, Roger. Uh, fatten them up just a little bit more. Uh, usually we're going the other way, but that would, you know, sounds better with just a little more bottom in. I guess you could drop off some of the top, but I hate to do that. I think you're just about right on the top, Roger. I think you're just about right on the top, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. Well, the... Um the top is, uh, is at zero now instead of, uh, I can turn it up to uh, higher. Now it's different when I turn the processor off, so, you know, the processor tends to sharpen things a little bit, I think. Uh, so if I turn the processor off, it's going to uh, change, so, um, okay, there is with the processor off, processor off, uh, audio, audio. 
and there is with the processor turned back on. Off. Three PCP. Yes, sir. Uh, it's much fuller with the processor on and, and uh, uh, a lot cleaner. I, I think not cleaner, but just fuller. You know, uh, so I would leave. The, and it doesn't uh, it doesn't overwhelm you like some uh, some processors. So that, I think that processor sounds good. On Roger. Yes, sir. Sounds good. On Roger. equalizer uh, on the computer and I bumped up the low end on it a bit so I don't know whether that made a difference or not but uh, anyway I think for what it is I think uh, we're good to go and of course there is no box blocking capacitors I can uh, play with because I'm using uh, a computer headset uh, and uh, running the rig through the computer too so uh, roger that, roger that. Well, uh, you know, it's probably like about uh, 300 cycles uh, uh, where the push point uh, would, would need to be, you know, about 300 probably. Uh, I wouldn't go much below that, uh, you know, just uh, try to take it down to uh, maybe 250, 300 cycles, something like that. Uh, if you could find, if, you know, a way to way to do that, and, and but don't get me wrong, it sounds really good, you know, the way it is for what it is. I mean, you know, you're bouncing around out there in the car and all that stuff, Roger. Out there in the car and all that stuff, Roger. Uh, no negative. I'm at home uh, on the uh, on in the shack, uh, Jim. Right, Roger. But eventually, that is a remote uh, uh, setup, Roger, isn't it? Uh, setup, Roger, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that a remote setup? Yeah, I missed most yeah, of that. Really uh, you dropping out there quite a bit. I think we'll call it uh, for today, Jim. I appreciate the uh, the time, and uh, I'll uh, look forward to uh, to listening to the uh, recording. So seven three, and have a good afternoon. KT nine VKV V three PCP. Roger, Rob. That is uh, your remote uh, uh, setup, isn't it? Remote uh, uh, setup, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's my, uh, uh, I'm sitting in the shack, but I use uh, remote, the remote uh, software to operate the radio, QSL. Roger, Roger. So you have uh, less than uh, than perfect conditions a lot of times when you're running through that unit. So uh, you know, uh, uh, taking all that into consideration, I think you're really close to uh, to where you need to be now. Um, you know, because you are less many times in less than ideal conditions, Roger. Many times in less than ideal conditions, Roger. No, I think it's pretty good, and uh, we'll leave it where it is today, and uh, we'll look forward to the, listening to the recording. Sure, yes, sir, Rob. I'll have it uploaded uh, by noon tomorrow. It's uh, KC9VKV followed by the word logbook on a YouTube search, and it'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2,600 Kiso V-Log Aircheck recordings, right, Jim? 2,600 Kiso V-Log Aircheck recordings, right, Jim? Okay, Jim, very good. Thanks very much, uh, 7 3, and uh, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you again soon. Uh, KC9 BKB V3 BCP. Roger, Roger, Rob, 73, sir. Have a good afternoon, a beautiful weekend. And this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Oh, you want to check out, give me a shout. Okay, I heard somebody way back in there, station way back in there, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Phonetically with your call sign. Station calling, uh, you are right in my noise there on the uh, PASDR. I only have a copy on you on the uh, PASDR, and you're about to... Uh, uh, two clicks back into the noise, so I can't really pull you off. We've got a very noisy day today with a lot of lightning crashes. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe next Friday uh, you can uh, make the trip. But right now, uh, like I say, I only have a copy on you just a little bit on the PASDR, and it's only like about uh, 2 dB below the PASDR noise level. So I can't, I can't quite pull you out because of all the uh, the static. But uh, like I say, maybe next weekend, Roger. Like I say, 
Okay, maybe next weekend, Roger. So, this is the Friday afternoon Kissel Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. November 8th, Juliet Nashville, November 8th station in Tennessee. I come back with your call sign slowly, phonetically. I'm sorry, sir, there was an interruption. Uh, try again, phonetically slowly on your call sign. Again, phonetically slowly on your call sign. Whiskey. Number four. Romeo. Papa. Whiskey. W4RPW. Okay, RPWN, are you in Tennessee? RPWN, are you in Tennessee? Yes, sir, about 45 miles south of Nashville. Yes, sir. And what's the name there? Yes, sir. And what's the name there? Name here is Rick. Romeo, India, Charlie, Kilo. We in a town called Lewisburg. Yes, sir, Rick. I spent uh, a few days in the hospital up there after an 18-wheeler kind of uh, took out our video uh, uh, recording truck uh, about mm, so many years ago. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rick, what uh, radio are you running, sir? What uh, radio are you running, sir? I'm running a little low up. PS 570 D Kenwood. Uh, okay, uh, uh, PS, and what was the rest? Yeah, that was a uh, PS, and what was the rest of that? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here with this. Um, this uh, SDR may have been hit by lightning. Uh, are you coughing me okay now? Hit by lightning. Uh, are you coughing me okay now? Oh, I hear you fine. That, that's no big deal. I'll catch you another time. Like when the conditions are better out. Like when the conditions are better out there. Oh, listen, buddy. I got you on Georgia. <laughs> I got you about 30 over on Georgia now, Roger. Georgia. <laughs> I got you about 30 over on Georgia now, Roger. Okay, yeah, we normally... If I'm listening, that's where I go, that Georgia one. It's a, that's a good uh, uh, machine they got there. Yes, sir. Now, that radio is a PS what? Yes, sir. Now, that radio is a PS what? The TS 570 Delta. All righty. Uh, is that an older radio or newer radio? All righty. Uh, is that an older radio or newer radio? That's an older radio. Yes, sir. Uh, what is your uh, transmit bandwidth? Is it like uh, uh, 2.5, 2.6, or 2.7? Uh, uh, 2.5, 2.6, or 2.7? It's on 2.4. Ah, uh, Roger, Roger. Okay, does it happen to have a uh, onboard equalizer? Roger, Roger. Okay, does it happen to have a uh, onboard equalizer? No. Ah, uh, interesting. How about a uh, ALC meter? Interesting. How about a uh, ALC meter? I don't really know what this old radio's got. I just scanned it through here and I heard you in here doing all this stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not really familiar with everything on Sounds pretty good. It sounds does sound uh, pretty good. Uh, I was hoping to be able to give you a little more top end there and uh, double check to be sure that your level was up. What level is your microphone uh, uh, level? Let me see here. Uh, I got it on 75 percent. Yes, sir. That, that uh, got a burst of clarity, <laughs> and it sounded really good. So I think you're good to go, buddy. For the radio that it is, I think you've got everything going for it, Roger. Buddy, for the radio that it is, I think you've got everything going for it, Roger. Okay, well, I appreciate your time and effort right there. You have a great day, and I tell you what, you're a lucky man. If you got hit by a semi-truck here in Lewisburg, and you went to the hospital, and you got out alive, the Lord was with you. 
<laughs> yes, uh, I agree. That's true. It, uh, you know, it's one of those things where uh, it was a foggy night, and I never, ever drive on foggy nights, but we had a session the next day, so we had to get home, and uh, so we were driving in the fog, and I was uh, doing the best I could to drive and see what was going on. This guy was doing about 70 or 80, and when he went into the back of us, we were ever big, uh, ever much uh, as big as he was uh, with the back end there. You know, we were real similar in heights, and I'm sure he just got covered up with black when he ran into us. But uh, there you go, and we all survived there. It was very uh, near didn't, though, because uh, we just, you know, this was a shakedown cruise for this truck, and we just uh, put in a, um, a uh, electronic uh, fuel um uh, gauge, uh, not gauge, but uh, motor, and um, uh, <laughs> we got, uh, in other words, pushed off the road there on the side, and um, I'm hearing this ticking sound, and I'm wondering what this ticking sound is, and it was uh, the electric fuel pump uh, pumping hot gas on the manifold, so uh, it didn't manage to catch on fire, but it had all the uh, earmarks of a perfect fireplace, Roger. Fire, but it had all the uh Earmarks of a perfect fireplace, Roger. Oh yeah, we all got lucky there. Okay, where uh, where you on? What's your uh, where are you located at? Uh, we're up towards uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We're just on the we're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville, Roger. We're just on the we're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at Louisville, Roger. Oh okay, well I didn't know where you was at. Okay, buddy, thanks for the comeback, and uh, you have a great day, and hope uh, you have a good week there. So uh, we'll talk to you later. W4 Romeo Papa Whiskey's clear on your file. Roger, Roger, Rick. Uh, beautiful audio. And if you want to hear it, uh, we are recording now till 5 and have been since 3.30. So if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2,600 QSO VLOG air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll probably check that out. So, all right, we'll talk to you later, and uh, thanks for all the help you do for everybody. W4, Romeo, Papa Whiskey's clear. Roger, Roger, Rick, and you're at least 30 over on uh, the Georgia SDR, so you'll, you'll enjoy your recording. 73. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. VLOGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. November 8th, India Juliet Golf, N8IJG. Uh, NA station, uh, come back slowly phonetically with your call sign. Station, uh, come back slowly phonetically with your call sign. November 8th, Kia Juliet N A I J G. I J G, Roger, Roger, sir, and whereabouts are you located? I J G, Roger, Roger, sir, and whereabouts are you located? In I, uh, N8, I, J, G, uh, what's the name there? J, G, uh, what's the name there? QSL, yes, it is a tough copy, uh, your, uh, QSB as well. Uh, just trying to test out the radio, uh, so I just wanted to give it a shot to see if I can get out. N8 IJG. IJG, Roger, Roger. I'm copying you through uh, the Pennsylvania SDR. I got a good copy on you, about uh, 15 over. A lot of lightning, but I have a solid copy. If you've got a copy on me, Roger. But I have a solid copy. If you've got a copy on me, Roger. QSL on that as well. As I said, just um, I got a MFJ um, SDR uh, switch box and just uh, attempting to try it out. That's all. Um, so I'll send it back to you, uh, N8IJG. 
I J G. What's the name up that way, sir? I J G. What's the name up that way, sir? Sorry about that, Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Roger Bill, name here is Jim Juliet India Mike. We're located down around Louisville, Kentucky, on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at uh, Louisville. Roger, Roger. Ohio River, right at uh, Louisville. Roger, Roger. Uh, working here with the uh, SDR receiver. I'm running an ICOM 718 for the transmitter, uh, MFJ 708, uh, and um, using a pan adapter for uh, receive. So that's what I'm testing now. Back. Roger, Bill, and what's your location? What's your location, sir? Roger, Bill, and what's your location? What's your location, sir? Location is Wycliffe, Ohio. Wycliffe, Ohio. 20 miles east of Cleveland, Ohio. Roger, Roger. Unit sounds really good, sir. You were using uh, two different uh, separate uh, transmit receivers. Is that a Roger? Different, uh, separate uh, transmit receivers. Is that a Roger? Yes, I'm using visually. I have uh, G GQRX as my pan adapter and I'm transmitting with an ICOM 718. Back to you. Yes, sir. Well, we usually just deal with the uh, transmitter part of uh, uh, the operation, and that transmitter sounds really good. Looks to be about 3 dB dynamic range, which is exactly uh, perfect for where we'd want to put it. And uh, we have been recording, so if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, uh, uh, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,600 QCV-like air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. And I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. All right, Jim, I do appreciate uh, the uh, return on the call, and uh, as I said, just doing some testing, and uh, I believe the uh, system is going to work. I have a AirPlay SDR receiver that I'm going to throw on next. But I thought I would give this one a try first uh, to make sure nothing was going to blow up. So I do appreciate it. Um, and your call again is KC9 DKZ or DKZ. Back to you. Uh, yes, sir, Bill. Kilo, Charlie 9, Victor. Kilo Victor, and I give your transfer stamp of approval, 3DP, perfect audio, roger, roger. Approval, 3DP, perfect audio, roger, roger. The band just, you just dropped out, Jim. Roger, let me, let me try again. This is a Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. Roger. Victor, Kilo, Victor. Roger. QSL that time. My ears heard me. My ears heard uh, correctly at first. So, Jim, thank you very much. I'll say 73 and let you make some additional contact. KC9, VKV, N8IJG. 73 and have a, a nice afternoon. Roger, Roger, Bill, 73, sir. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, you have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon, QSO Vlog Net. We're moving towards 5 o'clock, fishing time. But uh, maybe we can get one more in there. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. AC4 uh, that uh, call sign, AC4 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. 4 station, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. This is uh, Alpha Gun 4, Romeo Yankee. I'm in uh, East Tennessee. My name's Gary. Roger, Gary, one more time on your call sign, please. 
Roger, Gary. One more time on your call sign, please. That's Alpha Golf Four Romeo Yankee. Romeo Yankee, Roger, Roger. Well, let me uh, see, Gary, if you would, uh, why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds on your antenna system and let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Let me look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Okay, uh, we have the uh, indoor folded dipole. It's upstairs. Yes, sir. I've got you on my local antenna. Not too, not too heavy, but I've got you on my local antenna. So let's just run through a couple of things. What was that radio that you're running now? Did you say a P1 something? Did you say a P1 something? CS850, is that a Roger? 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 Okay, so uh, if you got a pretty good copy on me, sir. Uh, Do you have a pretty good copy on me down that way? I guess not. I was just curious if you had a, a fairly good copy on me down down your way. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, I think from what I heard, uh, Gary, I think you sounded pretty good. Uh, we could go into uh, a bunch of stuff, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure the conditions would permit that right now, Roger. Uh, you know, I'm not sure the conditions would permit that right now, Roger. Yeah, I, I think maybe today's not the day there, uh, Gary. I, I think uh, Mother Nature is uh, pretty much in command, and uh, she's, I think she's been uh, cantankerous all afternoon long, Roger. She's been uh, in uh, generating uh, uh, thunderstorms and stuff, and it's been really uh, a difficult afternoon. Roger, Roger. Stuff, and it's been really uh, a difficult afternoon. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I copied you a little bit down in Georgia, uh, but uh, not too well. Now, um, I do have a SDR. Hang on just a minute. Let me try something here. Uh, I do have a, an STR down in uh, central Tennessee that I could try to bring up. Uh, gosh, let me see here. Uh, figure out where the heck it is. Um... This is KC9VKV in the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog net, and uh, we're going through a list here of SDRs and uh, trying to find the one down in uh, Tennessee. Here's one down in Knoxville, but I had one in Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee, let me just see what that does. Hang on just a second, I'm bringing it up, and let me see. Uh, Gary, try me now, and uh, let me see if I got a copy on you. See if I got a copy on you. Got a copy right here. Hi, Gary. This is KC9 VKV. If you got a copy, I'm copying you now on uh, uh, Middle Tennessee uh, SDR, Roger. Now on uh, uh, Middle Tennessee uh, SDR, Roger. A 
AE4RY. This is a KC9VKV. Uh, uh, Gary, you got a copy? This is a KC9VKV. Uh, uh, Gary, you got a copy? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, well, I tried uh, my uh, my Metal Tennessee uh, SDR, and uh, I, I got uh, not as good as uh, where I am up in uh, PA SDR. Sometimes you get too close. I think that's what this is, Roger. No, PA SDR. Sometimes you get too close. I think that's what this is, Roger. I've just now got a little copy to... Uh Yes, sir, Gary. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, yeah, we'll try it uh, next Friday if you if you can. I'd love to have you uh, uh, contact us uh, next Friday if you can. Seventy three, sir. And with that, I see by the clock on the wall a dead fly. Ooh, ooh, ooh! So we got to get out of here since three thirty. Uh, we've been uh, recording, and uh, it's uh, time for us to wrap it up. If you participated and want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2,600 QSOV log air check recordings, and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So with that said, uh, it's time for us to... Uh, Return this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor, clear.